on because we're looking at week three right now in the NFL. Lions, I mean, hey, they're doing pretty well right now. I mean, you know, we just seen them beat the, the Arizona Cardinals, and it was a good game. They took a tough L against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, another kind of a tough matchup in the NFC. But I got to ask here because we've seen a lot of different things going on um, in this matchup against the Arizona Cardinals, and I got the first thing I want to know. Did the Arizona Cardinals lose this game more than the Lions actually won this game? Lions won. The scoreboard shows they won um, 20 to 13. But did they lose this game, the Cardinals, lose it more than the Lions actually won? Now that is a great question. I want to say the Lions won, even though the Cardinals had chances to win. The reason I'll say the Lions won, the okay. run game was phenomenal. Montgomery and Gibbs, I'm going to go on the record and say it, best running back duo in the league. They mm won us this game. Defense also played amazing too. Aiden Hutchinson, those boys holding a high-powered offense of 13 points because we saw what the Cardinals did the previous week against the Rams. But the reason why I say the run game won us the game, golf played terrible in the second half, I'm sorry, after having a perfect first <laughs> half, 12-12, literally a 100 passer rating going amazing. Then, you know, making bad uh, plays in the second half, the interception, the run game saved us. One thing I got to say moving forward He has to be better. 20 points. Mm. We didn't score in the second half. The run game kept us apart to run out the clock. So it's a mixture of both. I'm going to say Lions won the game more than the Cardinals uh, blew it. Okay. Okay. And, and, you know, I I get that. I can can respect that. Um, And and you pointed out something, too, that I really, really noticed, too, is the run game. Oh, my God. Gosh, the run game, the Lions run game is monstrous, bro. It's clear. It's evident. You hit it right on the nail. They have the best running back duo in all of the NFL. Nobody's messing up with them when it comes to the ground game. And I was just happy to see them pretty much rely more on the ground game than what they did last week against the Buccaneers. Because... I mean, they saved it. They they pretty much was saved by the run. And St- Garrett, Jared Goff's stats looks like it might be nice. Like, when you look at it, you see, oh, 18 for 23. Damn, Goff played really good. But like you said, they didn't score. And there was a lot of handing the ball off to the running backs, which really kept them in the game. So I, now it, it just makes me think, like, looking at the numbers and things, this looks like a marvelous setup. It looks like, oh, the Lions played. They played really good. Goff played good. The running backs ate good. All of that stuff because you got Lions. Both backs had over 80 rushing yards. Um, Golf completed 78% of his passes. So obviously we know the eye test says a different story. But what was one of the differences you noticed between the Lions offense in week two and week three as they won against the Arizona Cardinals? I would say first halves we've been playing a lot better. But, like, the second half is, is just slowed down. Like, yesterday, we got three touchdowns in that first half, 20 points, and we didn't score the rest of the game. Now, mm. 20 points is not bad, but it's a little average. I think with the way the Lions' offense is, the Lions have the most talented offense in the league. I'm just going to go ahead and say, you Ooh. got Sam Laporta, j St. Brown, all these weapons around golf. That should that offense should at least get 28 to 35 points each and every single week. Then you got Jameer Sorry. Gibbs and Montgomery in the backfield. Golf has to just play better. I'm not putting it all on him because it is obviously a team effort, but like he has to throw it more consistently. Like when we look at back to back games, he's throwing back to back picks. So those mm. games we could have easily, you know, we could have easily lost yesterday too. We could be one and two instead of two and one. But one thing they got to do moving forward, I just need more consistency out of golf. The first half, like I said, was flawless, literally 12 out of 12. If he could keep doing mm. that, he has weapons around him and the offensive line, so there's really no excuse. Yeah, and you know, I why golf has been very wishy-washy and i had eric on here um last week and we were talking about jared golf yeah i know (laughs) eric Eric don't really rock with jared (laughs) golf eric not really he like you know he's good whatever but he he was on the train of like golf has to play better it seems like you kind of follow his suit a little bit too of like hey golf is straight but he's got to play better and i'm looking at the games you see it's kind of that inconsistency there of Okay, Goff is a good quarterback, clearly, but yeah. there's times where he's just really, really not on his game. And then, truthfully, I, I got to bring up my guy, uh, Kirk Cousins. Like, Kirk yeah. Cousins usually is him in, in a clutch. Like, we've been seeing, you know, him play good so far and, and get better each week. But Goff, it hasn't been seen. Like, he's getting better and better each week. And that's, like, you know, kind of scary for some Lions fans out there because you expect your team to get better each week. Obviously, the receiving core and on the play call has has improved on a week-to-week basis from, you know, at least week two to week three we've seen them improve. But Jared Goff, I feel like he's going to be the the biggest question for how far the Lions can actually go. 
Because we see in the offense, you know, when the play call is clicking and they're using the, utilizing the run game, they look pretty damn good. The defense, as we know, is very impeccable. Obviously, one of the top defenses in the NFL already. I think that's very, very easy to say if you've been watching them. And then it, it just comes down to, you know, when the game is close and you need to, to really get the offense going, if Jared Goff can make that happen. So I, I got to say this. Lions are fifth in rushing right now. Um, they're top five in all yards in the NFL right now, in total yards. Um, how much of an impact do you think um, the, the ratio of them playing defense compared to their offense uh, will have like going against these other teams in the, in the NFC? Because we see some powerhouses in the NFC. Obviously, we know San Francisco 49ers. They're a top team in the NFC right now. Maybe I guess we got to worry about the Buccaneers. I think the Atlanta Falcons is another top team in, a, in the NFC. So, you know, you got a lot of evenly talented teams in the NFC and do you think they'll be okay like with an average offense or average quarterback play to clarify going against these teams in the NFC that's a great question I think they need to get better and get more consistency because this year's path to an NFC championship or Super Bowl way going to be harder than last year you just made a good mm -hmm. point the Kirk Cousins and the Falcons nearly beat the Chiefs last night if it wasn't for a bad call oh. I know it's another conversation oh. for another day <laughs> so like they're looking good the Eagles just beat the Red Hot Saints there's a lot of good teams obviously you made the 49ers and obviously the Vikings look amazing so for us we got to get better. Like right now, the offense is looking like they're getting 21 points like type of game. Mm -hmm. We got to get more consistency just in the passing game because the running game, you made a good point. Been there. Gibbs and Montgomery, both 80 plus rushing yards. That is a Ooh. fantasy owner. You know, that's a dream. So like Man. if we can match the pass, if we can match the run game with the pass game, I'm telling you, like moving forward, it'll be amazing because defensively, Aiden Hutchinson, he has been a dog. The game against the Buccaneers we lost almost got the NFL record for sacks in the game. This man was unconscious. <laughs> Crazy. So like if we can get that same intensity and Ben Johnson does have some tricks up his sleeve. I'm not sure if you saw the highlight of when he oh, threw yeah. it to St. Brown, he tossed it. Oh yeah. Him. You know what I'm saying? So, oh yeah, that know, was crazy. The trickery, the trickery, I think it can be. So I'll say this, we need to get a little bit better. And I think with the offensive way it's set, I'm going to say it again, should be 28 to 35 points a game. There's no reason if we can get to that with the defense, I think the Lions can make a big run. That's, it, it, you know, I like that. So I like that estimate. You said about 25 to 30 points. Uh, that was, that was it, right? About, yeah, 28 to 35, my bad. 28 to 35, 28 to 35. Okay, I wanted to make sure I was quoting you right uh, in the points, but I, th I think that's good, man, because it's a lot of high-scoring offenses now, and, and not every team has the defense to hang around. And one of the things I'm certain in with the Lions is their defense. Like, I'm... I don't really like confidence in their defense. When it comes into the game, it's more so like, all right, how are they about to start scoring? Is Jerry Goff going to be clicking? Is the offense going to be clicking? Is Ben Johnson going to call the right plays? 